What up, YouTube? Thought I'd just take a little moment to uh, share a little something from my home theater journey. Uh, not a lot of videos out there on these subwoofers. Uh, I have the PSA Power Sound Audio TV 2112s in the matte version. Got them on a pre order sale. Been having them now for about a few days, so I can't give you a long term review. But I'm just so excited and pleased by the sound that I had to take time out to share. Uh, one of the things that I found is that there are not a lot of reviews on these subs uh, out there on YouTube. I was scouring the Internet and looking for reviews. Actually, I found out about these uh, subs through the AVS forum, the, out there on <coughs> AVS forum, and I was led to the Power Sound Audio forum. I also considered JTR subs, uh, <laughs> Captivators. But of course, those refrigerators are very expensive, and I'm sure they're pretty good. Uh, but they would be huge. As you can see right now, uh, with these subs, I basically have to raise my screen about two to three inches to uh, clear, the, clear the viewing area. So uh, prior to this, I had a PB-16 Ultra up front and a PB-2000 out back. I started my journey, my subwoofer journey on a Mirage FSW 15, I think it was. Uh, then I still have it, by the way, still works fine. Uh, moved from that to a PB 2000, added that on to the room. And of course, you know how that subwoofer rabbit hole goes. Uh, <laughs> from the PB 2000, I uh, was introduced to SVS and I love what I heard with the PB 2000. So I got a PB 16 Ultra. And like many of you who may have gotten uh, hooked on this addiction, uh, reading forums and everything and start finding out about other subs and said, you know, how much better could it be? Well, I got these dual TV 21s in and I'm going to tell you right now. It is fantastic. It is phenomenal. Uh, 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 and all the other superlatives. I really don't understand why there are not a lot of uh, rave reviews out there on these things. Uh, there are two videos out there, uh, one by, uh, I guess this guy, Raph Cave, uh, and he didn't like his, he returned them. I don't know why that happened. Um, and then there's this other guy, shout out to that one dude. Uh, I, I, I watched his video a couple of times and it sealed the deal for me to get these subs. So thanks, uh, shout out to one dude. Thanks. Thanks for the info, man. So hopefully I can do the same for someone else, uh, by the way, you see the Chris Brown song in the background. A lot of heavy bass in that, man. Uh, I'll just tell you that these subs have basically brought my clips, uh, RP-8000s, uh, to life, man. Uh, it's like things I haven't heard before, even in movies and uh, and things like that. So, uh, I won't bore you too much. Well, maybe some of you guys, if you like me, you don't find this stuff boring. But check that bad boy out. Check it out. Huge, massive port at the bottom. Uh, some controls in the back, volume gain, room size, and things like that. Uh, basically, uh, with the AVS form, I followed, followed a lot of tips on there about how to set these things up. Thanks, guys. A lot of guys out there put a lot of good information. Uh, quickly, what I did to calibrate mine, basically, I have a Denon AVR 4400 running these. Um, and so, uh, I got the, uh, editor app, the, uh, the Odyssey editor app for 20 bucks. Well worth it. You're spending thousands of dollars on your system. 20 bucks is a drop in the bucket. Uh, followed a bunch of YouTubers out there, tips on how to, uh, calibrate the system. And I'm going to tell you, man, I, I just, you know, I'm at a loss for words. Uh, you know, I don't know about this. Uh, I would love to do some demos and things like that, but I don't want the video to get taken down and the phone, uh, audio quality won't do it justice at all. So I won't even try to do that, man. It's just, I don't know what to say. So anyway, uh, basically let me see if I could run through right quick how I did my subs. Okay. You guys, uh, may have a little different approach, may not agree with my approach, but Hey, it's all personal preference. I love the way it turned out. So uh, I have two sub outputs on my receiver. 
But basically what I did was I just uh, ran one wire. The uh, the audio room is in a, a separate room away from here. And I only have one sub that I pre-wired for. I, I actually built this theater, ran everything. So there's only one sub running up front, one wire running up front. And so I have ran one wire. I, uh, there's one sub wire up here. And I ran a wire splitter off of those guys. And basically this these two subs are running off the same signal. So... To my Odyssey app, I treated it, uh, I said I had one sub, so it's treating it as one. I have them both. I went through the level matching and all this other kind of stuff, so on and so forth, yeah. So uh, it's treating it as one sub. And uh, so after Odyssey, I went through and uh, took out all of the EQ and on the sub, just totally eliminated that. Um, what else did I do in Odyssey uh, as far as these subs go? Uh, can't really recall right now, but taking out the, the EQ and on the subs, that was one of the main tips that I got. And I followed that. It worked when I first went to calibrate the subs. Actually, I have the room size gain set to, uh, size control set to large. And when I went through Odyssey, the Odyssey, uh, app was <laughs> asking me to turn my subs down. So I turned them down eventually to about the one uh, yeah, I guess two and a half notches point in order for it to uh, pass the Odyssey test. And according to based on recommendations online, uh, leaving it slightly in the hot area. So anyway, so I did that uh, and that worked out fine. So those were the sub things, I guess the only sub things that I did as far as Odyssey is concerned. All right. So Anyway, how does it compare to the PB-16? Man, it blows it out of the water. Blows it out of the water. Now, to be fair, I was running a single PB-16 with a PB-2000, which is still back here in the corner. This is where it was in the back corner. Man, it looks miniature uh, compared to what I have now. So it's still in the back corner, but... Uh, yeah, so to be fair, one PB-16 plus a PB-2000, I was pleased with it originally, and uh, but now this is a whole, this is a game changer, man. Uh, and like I stated on the AVS forum, I said, man, hey, man, this is in game for me. I'm going to stop researching and stop listening to other people about subs and all that kind of stuff. Dual 21s, man. Dual ported 21s. Oh, man, movies, movies are off the chain. Now, one thing I did find when I played Blade Runner, Blade Runner, for some reason, runs hot. I have to turn the volume down. In every other movie, I'm fine. But in Blade Runner, that, that bass coming through Blade Runner, I have to turn it down with these bad boys. It basically rocks the house. Uh, my wife, <laughs> she complains that upstairs it sounds like uh, I'm one of those kids with my trunk rattling, you know. She said, how could that sound good? I don't hear the rattles in here. I have some slight rattles in the room, but... Basically, man, it's, it's uh, negligible once the volume is up. So the PB-16, I loved it. It has a new home. I ex as a matter of fact, the new home uh, helped me to purchase one of these. <laughs> and so anyway, it's a great sub. But this right here for the price, you know, the value proposition, man, you it can't be beat. Uh, although I did get these on a the pre-order sale. Uh, I believe the regular price is about twenty five hundred for one, and a PB sixteen Ultra is twenty eight hundred right now. When I bought my original PB sixteen, I bought it on one of the outlet sales, uh, Labor Day, one of those things. I think I got it for twenty five hundred, and I sold it for two thousand. So that's not too bad. And I got a, a another guy, a buddy of mine, interested in picking up this PB two thousand. So I'm recouping a lot of my funds. <laughs> Toward these subs, man. But that's not the point. The point is, these are definitely worth it. Uh, if you need to start off with one and then eventually get a second one, I say do so. Now, again, I'd li just like to talk about why there are no other reviews out there. I really don't understand, man. I know there's a lot of games and a, a lot of money being made out there for these YouTubers and stuff like that. And maybe uh, the the PSA owner, uh, Tom, uh, I won't butcher his last name, but maybe he's not, you know, like uh, giving up the free uh, subs and all this other kind of stuff to get these guys to promote his product. Uh, maybe that's the game. Maybe that's what's happening. Uh, maybe that may have something to do with why the other guy sent his back. I don't know. I'm not talking about the other guy 
Uh, but I tell you what, man, do not go based on his video, man. He's got a lot of followers, a lot of views on that video. I don't know what happened over there. Maybe it was a setup situation. Uh, who knows, man? But I'm here to preach and tell you that right now, these subs are off the chain, man. I'm not being paid for this. I just wanted to share my journey. And if you're, if you're sitting there considering buying these subs, man, uh, uh, looking at one of these PSA subs, I can only speak to the TV 2112 that I have right now. And I'll just say, pull that trigger, pull that trigger. If you, if you've run into some issues with the calibration or the setup and you're having some issues there, go out to AVS forum, man, and get some of those guys to help you out and point you in the right direction. Uh, there's a power sound audio, uh, subwoofer thread. And actually, the owner of PSA, he actually is very active on that thread. As a matter of fact, man, this guy answers the phone when you call the company and, and you have questions and things like that. So he answers the phone. And uh, I believe uh, he, he was part of the original SVS group. I believe he's the V and SVS. But anyway, guys, look, check it out, man. Get these subs. Uh, you can't beat them. I'm excited. Uh, I'm down here right now on a Saturday, the sun is shining outside, man, and I'm in my theater just enjoying the subs, man. I'm just so excited, man. Um, 60 day, I mean, five year warranty. I think it's a 60 day return thing. Uh, I still have the pallets that they came on. Oh, that's another thing. They're huge. They're monstrous, man. Uh, you know, I do a little working out, so I was able to muscle these things, uh, down to the basement and into the room by myself. Uh, but getting them through the door, I don't know, my door, maybe 30, I don't know what the measurement is, but it's double boxed and I had to, uh, take off the outer box to get it through the door. So, uh, that's how that worked. And then from there, you know, the little pushing along on the carpet and a little leverage to get them up the stairs into the theater. Uh, and then back here, actually I had to, uh, let me just give you a little glimpse right here. Uh, got these seats in here. So. It was tight getting them through those double doors back there. So I had to undo those two of those two or three of those chairs in the back, unhook them, move them out the way, and then slide them down here on up to down to this floor, and then up on the uh, little stage we got there, man. So uh once again, hey man, uh I'm extremely satisfied and uh just want to echo what that one dude said. Uh get these subs, man. And if you do currently on just go out on youtube man put a little short video man if you're a guy like me and you like to research your stuff and you don't find any videos uh you know what i'm saying it's kind of like rolling the dice with this man but i took the shot man with the 60 day return policy uh i said hey man it'll be ha it'll be a hassle to load these two beasts <laughs> my wife said it looked like washing machines but to load these two uh beasts back up and return them uh, would be a hassle but I'm telling you right now, man, this is a permanent home. Um, that's it. So pull the trigger. Go for it. I'm giving it a thumbs up. I'm not a famous YouTuber, but I'm a, a home theater enthusiast. Uh, and I love music, all genres. Uh, hey, by the way, there's this song by, uh, it's up from the Creed 3 uh, soundtrack. It's called My Boy. I'm telling you right now. If you have any sub that's worth its weight, play that song and you will feel bass that you can't hear. You will feel bass that you can't hear in that song, man. So give it a shot, man. Hey, guys, pull the trigger. Peace.